Oh, good. Come on. So the crate here, we have it situated near where we draft out the cows. So we actually didn't have a, a lot of people ask if we got a machine or does have to be inside in the shed. Our own one here in the yard isn't unfortunately inside in the shed, but uh, ideally it would be better, but the crate is okay to, to be outside. But the most important thing is that it's there, it's ready to go. Um, you're not hesitating and saying, oh, I must go here and get this to know yeah. Yeah. at least the lame cow will be done as soon as she's seen lame. Yeah, very good. And I suppose location is key, I suppose, for a crate like this. Yeah, um, definitely, yeah, yeah. Very good, yeah. So if you have it close to the parlour and it's only two second job to turn it on by flicking the switch and you don't mind if it's going to be the front foot or back foot, in this case it looks like it's her front foot is lame. Okay. So you're not thinking about, oh my God, I have to bend down on my two front knees, drag your leg out to the side, it's becoming a bigger job than what it is. So at least with this crush you don't mind if it's front foot or back foot and it's easy to he do it. Yeah. And once yeah. it's easy to do it, you're more like or you're more inclined to do the that's job then. Each, that's exactly yeah. it yeah and once the, the animal is in the crate they, they can't really do anything they're fully restrained once the four legs are tied down and it gives you a lot of ease a lot of comfort and the cow can't injure itself can't go down um which is another good thing as well so this is the older model where we were manually tying down each of the legs with the newer one so only press the button and the rubbers come in hydraulically. So there's the cow, fully restrained. It's brilliant though, the control that you have over them, like when they're on their side. Oh, it's hot. like if she was in the normal, say, upright crate now, she'd be yeah. hopping around on her other three legs. She still has a huge amount of power when she's on three legs. So you can still get a, a kick and also you have the danger of her falling down in it as well. So at least here you can take your time and get to get it done right and you're not worried about her either. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. So the other beauty of this as well, um, with the rollover, is you have full access into the other. So you've access into the, the four teeth. So there's um, one farmer, he had one installed in his farm and he had two guys operating it so he had okay. one of the guys was doing the feet and the other lad was drying off the cows only with using sealer not using the antibiotic and um, so hygiene again there is the most important thing and they're also um, injecting for worms as well so they were doing the three jobs, three jobs in one and I've since heard that there's I think there's other guys going around with rollovers and they're they could be um, clipping tails they could be doing the feet they could be doing drying off they could be doing like nearly four services nearly in one, but it's a really multi service <laughs> crate. <so. laughs> it was only supposed to be for lameness, but like you do have the cow up there, she's so quite content. Um, and it's very safe for like me doing it or whoever's doing it, and it's safe for the animal as well. Yeah, I know it's brilliant. And like we can see there, like how clean this area here is all kept. Um, like the dung is running to the back of it, like yeah, so it's not going down your neck or anything, yeah. and especially again putting in the tubes. Like if you're doing it in the parallel or if you're doing it in a, a stand-up crush, so the dung is coming down, it's splashing up on the ground. So even if you're after going to the trouble of disinfecting it and cleaning it really well, and then if she does dung and it goes back up again, it splashes yeah. up. And you know, like this way, it is very hygienic uh, and very safe to get at the, the teeth. Yeah, no, that's brilliant, Maeve. So, yeah. So the beauty with the, the rollover and how it got its name in spec four is because she's lame on one foot, but sometimes she could be lame on another foot as well. And this way we can have a look at the other three feet. So that's why we gave it the name in spec four. <laughs> she wasn't even sore on this foot, but if you zoom in here, you can see the stones in the white line. So that's all, that's, this foot would have also been a problem. So she might have, mightn't have shown it straight away but she was lame on the back foot if we only lifted the back feet we wouldn't have discovered this and then she'd be drafted out and lame again another few mm. weeks later yeah. and have to be lifted again so Very at least good. with the crate yeah. we can look at the four feet together brilliant the simple brass disc it'll just clean off the foot so you can have a better look now you'll still have to use the knife but it's, it's safer than using, 
for a farmer especially if they're like you know just doing their own cows at home um it's definitely the safe way to start off using the like of this before jumping into the one with the blades so this this doesn't look much but it's a great little device and we're just going to trim back the, the toe here that's gone too long. Very good, yep. Yeah. Basically cutting your own toenails really, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just show you how to, to put on a shoe. So normally you put on a shoe on the good side, so you're taking the pressure up off of the side that is sore, um, so that she's not um, walking on, on or, and putting extra pressure on the side of the sore. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just level off the, the foot. Um, okay. yeah. So I'm just going to use a, a timber block. So these are great way they can either go left or right. So that needs to go on this side here. So I'm going to put the glue on this surface. So one of the most important things when putting on these shoes is to heat them. Um, so I have my little blowtorch here, so I don't need any leads or any power for it. It's very easy to, to use. Okay. And what's the reason for why does it, need to, you why just, does it need to be heated? You just take out the last bit of moisture out of the foot and you just heat the block as well. It just sets the glue much better. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yeah. And so just have everything ready to go because as soon as I start squirting the glue, it'll go rock hard in about 30 seconds. Okay. So yeah. this has gone hard in the tip from the last time we've put on a shoe here. So you just screw this off, pop this out, put on a new mixing tip, and put this down over it again. So now my glue's ready to go, and I'm just going to heat the foot and heat the block. glue normally I just kind of go around the circles like that and the glue will set really really quickly um, when you're putting on the, the shoe then you just set it back a small bit from the toe so you're not right up it, um, against the edge of the toe and give it a gentle press like that when you press it, don't press it really hard that you squirt out all the glue, but just hold it there until okay. you can feel it setting. Then when it's gone hard on the outside, I can start to feel that going hard already. You just give it another bit of time then for the, um, for the rest of it to harden inside. The reason why you wouldn't set it right out to the toe is because the angle of her foot would be at the wrong angle when she's down on the ground. So if she's um, got a block uh, too far forward in front of the toe, her ligaments um, would be at the wrong standing okay, point. Okay, perfect. Then. So balance yeah. is important. Yeah, yeah. So while that's drying there now, I'm just going to have a look at her other feet as well. So me, I suppose when you're just working on the hook trimming there, you just found some of the hooks were a bit soft. Um, I suppose, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I suppose just this time of the year, maybe there isn't enough fibre in the diet. Um, like I'd say like looking at the dung there now as well like sure to literally running through them a small bit so I'd say that's why the, the feet have just gone that bit softer and um, is because of lack of fibre in the diet okay yeah very good yeah, yeah.